somebody else. Ben said, no, I don't think I'm ready yet. I have more questions. And sure enough, he'd come to my office, and for hours we'd sit, and I'd answer his questions. We'd talk, we'd open the Bible, and we'd see who it was that, um, that God really was and what God wanted for his life. And when he was ready, he said, I'm ready. I don't need to wait any other Amen. minutes. He doesn't think he's going to be perfect, but what he thinks is he serves a perfect God. We're so excited for that. I asked him what your favorite um, Bible text is. You have to come down now because it takes a while to like, get used to the uh, instant cold water. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know who told you that you could be as tall as me, but um, I did not approve that yet. <laughs> uh, he said, I'm not sure, Pastor, you pick for me. And so I thought about what it is that I want him to remember from this day. And it's simple. Uh, we've all heard it. But um, but this is something that he can hold on to. It's John 3.16. Yeah. And it says, For God, the creator of the universe, so loved the greatest expression of affection in the world, Benjamin Bentley born, that he gave the greatest act only begotten son so that if Benjamin no matter what he's done, no matter what he will do, if Benjamin will yet believe the smallest act in Jesus the greatest sacrifice he won't have to die but instead he will have the minute he comes, in fact not just that, he has right now after he's accepted Jesus Christ he has eternal life. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you have waited and questioned clearly month after month, year after year, until your questions are answered. Because you have seen God the Father have a plan for your life. Because you've accepted his son Jesus' death on the cross in lieu of your own. And because you will live by the Holy Spirit, buddy, it's my joy. <laughs> He's like, we're doing it? Okay. okay so. <laughs> <laughs> it's my joy, man, to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> seen here today, church, is a miracle. Can I get an amen? Amen. The revelation that God is real and still touching lives today. He still has a plan for each and every one of you. If there's someone out there today who has yet to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, but wants to, the one thing I love about this blue papaya is it's always here. We'll fill it up any day of the week. Preferably on Saturday because we're all here, but I don't care. If you're ready to give your heart to Jesus Christ, you come to me, you talk to me, and we're going to do it together. I'm going to ask, who am I got? Blanca, Blanca right here. I'm going to ask Blanca to say a prayer. As you pray, Blanca, remember all of the people who are struggling with the decisions. All of the people who have made the decision. Remember what this day was like for you. And hold on to the fact that you are a child of God. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this miracle that just happened. Bless Benjamin and his family, Lord. Amen. Receive them in the house. As usually, we all struggle. Help everyone else that is right now on the fence to make a decision. May your Holy Spirit guide them, Lord, and help them to realize that their lives is nothing without you all in theirs. Bless each and every family represented here and help everyone to make a decision. Bless them, Lord. Bless each of us and be with us every minute and every moment of our lives. We ask you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I'm just having everybody.